Hello, this is Miss B Finance One on One. I am so excited. This is Wednesday. Woohoo, video time. I'm gonna talk today about a show that I was watching. I know you all love this show. They have and they have not. If you haven't watched this episode, I'm gonna refer to episode um, eight on season 16. Just towards the end of that episode, there is a place where Jim Cryer is talking to Wall. And I might not get their name right because I started watching these shows two years ago. But it is so powerful. I literally had to like pause, rewind, and rewind. So what Jim Cryer is, uh, well, is trying to tell Jim Cryer about his past history. The way he was thrown in a cabbage and, you know, he was thrown by his grandmother and he almost died. And, you know, then Jim Cryer is like, I don't understand I don't understand you people. You're so much talented and there's so much you can do. And then one is like, you know what? You, it's easy for you to say uh, because the system is built for you. And Jim Cryer comes back and say, no. You know, and this is where I want to pause and say the lesson I learned from have and have not. You no, know, we watch these shows and honestly they are good shows, but there are some lessons that you can pick. Just from that conversation, Number one thing that Jim Cryer tells, tells the war is stop blaming the system. You know, most of us, we are stuck in always wanting an excuse to why we cannot succeed, why we cannot build wealth. It, why is like, oh my, because you're white, you know, the system is built for you. And I like Jim Cryer respond is like, no, the system is built for the people who want to work hard. The people who are determined. And that's why we can't blame the system. All you can blame is your philosophy. That's it. There is nothing else you can blame except your philosophy of how you view life. They are rather successful. And what Jim Cryer goes in and tells him, what happened to those successful black people? And we all see them. What happened to them is their philosophy changed. They started seeing that they can actually build wealth. That was the number one thing is stop blaming the system. Number two thing is take responsibility. You know, I like when he tells him, like, look, what happened to you when you are six years old? That was a thing of the past. In fact, it's very sad. But you're a grown up now. We are responsible for our future. We need to take responsibility every day. You know, I always tell you guys my videos is for the responsible people. And I mean that. I mean that. I mean that no matter where you come from, all you have to do is change your thinking, change your think the way you think, change your environment, and you will be successful. Okay? The third thing I learned from this is when he was talking about uh, being black versus being white and being successful. But the last thing, I also want to point another point where, you know, there's a part not particular in this episode where they are talking about Jim Cryer's son having a trust fund. That trust fund was something that was built within family. You know, there's something you can learn about the halves. The halves, they don't have excuses. And that's what Jim Cryer talks about when he brings out the way he grew up in the farm and working hard. They also pass legacy. Man, his son was given a trust fund by the grandparents. And that's something that I, I'm watching this show. I'm like, man, this is how the halves worked. Somebody passed on a, a, a trust fund. And if you remember Wyatt, who is Jim Cryer's son, if you remember the mother too, she has money from legacy from their family that has been passed on. So what are you learning from the have and have not? These are just some of the lessons that I've picked from the last couple of days. I've been watching these shows. I love Tyler Perry. This man always pass a message, but you have to pay attention to the have and have not. Uh, my biggest thing is I always tell people, change your habit. If there's anything you can get out of this video is change your habit. Change the way you think. Part of it, get out of your comfort zone. Change your environment. It's funny how we tell our kids, change the people you hang out with. Don't hang out with this. It's a wrong crowd. But we still do the same thing over and over. We still hang out with the same people who, who don't grow us. Okay? Expect to succeed. 
Expect to succeed. Always expect to succeed. You are you are bigger. You are special. But you gotta get out of that cocoon and set yourself free. You gotta think that you can do it. The truth is, just to close it up, you and I are actually better than millions of people out there. I'm just gonna read two statistics. Do you know that three billion people live on two dollars and fifty cents a day? Out there in the world, 80% of humanities lives on less than $10 a day. So you are actually better off than somebody else. You can actually start taking action. You can actually start saving. You can actually also spare some few money to help the humanity. This is my finance on one-on-one. -on -one. This is my have and I have not. And I hope you're going to start thinking like they have. Stop blaming the system. Take responsibility for your action and change your habit. This is Miss Me Finance one-on-one -on -one and see you all at the top.